Welcome to Book Talk. I'm Winston. I like to read good books and you should too. Today we are talking about Liar's Legacy by Elliot Kessler. This was originally published as a Kindle Vela novel and is now on the full, as a full ebook on the platform. So what is this? This is sci-fi, action adventure sci-fi in the grandest tradition of all of my favorite uh, space opera sci-fi stuff. It is one action sequence act after another. So what's going on here? Who suffers when you tell one little lie? Who's it going to hurt when everyone who knows the truth of the matter is dead? Why shouldn't you use your fortune to some benefit when no one stands to lose by saying otherwise? Why shouldn't you lie if no one knows you're a liar? As the champion of the Polemonian War, Sevdis Minari has it made. He's got fame, fortune, and an easy retirement autographing copies of his book on tour. He's got it made. Until Ben Novak shows up, pleading for the hero who defeated the Polemonians to come out of retirement and save his world. There's just one problem. Sevdis Minari's heroic legacy is built on lies. Ben's brother Caleb fights for freedom on the home front. He's still leading the resistance until help can arrive, until the sudden arrival of the bounty hunter Tamita finds Sevdis unprepared to rejoin the fight, and Ben desperate for allies. Swept off the planet by Tramita, Ben and Sevdis flee from deadly assassins. Tramita has determined that Sevdis is going to either become the hero he claims to be, or die trying. The story's focus is on action and adventure. The characters rely heavily on archetypes. There's just enough attention given to personal motivations to comfortably identify the characters. Most of the focus is given to action scenes with small breaks for banter and interplay between the characters. The central conflict is pretty clear in its purpose, but the details and the necessity of it are, they're left for later development. It's enough that we can identify the black hats from the white. Many of the action scenes and much of the interplay is directly referential to other popular franchises. You will have no trouble picking out the Star Wars action scenes in this novel. But it's light enough and it's different enough that it's an homage rather than an imitation. Little dramatic weight is given to the implications or the consequences of the character's actions. Most of the details of the commerce and setting are, they're given superficial treatment, which continues to direct the attention to the action scenes. It's a roller coaster of a ride, from brief moments of calm to explosive action that leaves the reader breathless. The stakes just keep building until our heroes finally have to shut down a weapon capable of laying waste to an entire planet. The brief and fast-paced action scenes move the characters from one challenge to the next with reckless abandon. There is just enough time for our heroes to absorb the implications of their plight before the next wave of trouble descends on them. By the end of the book, all three of our heroes will be faced with the implications of what they do what they leave undone, where they are going, and what they must leave behind. Truth has a way of making itself known, transforming the lie, and just possibly transforming the liar. I really liked this book. Um, it hit that action itch. It was good. It's, it's, it's a light, comfortable read. There's just enough depth here to let you know that there's something else going on but that's not the focus of the book. The focus of the book is we love these action scenes. We love recreating these favorite scenes from our favorite movies. Let's do it here. Let's do it well. And let's do it. Bam, 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 bam. I liked this book. So you know what that means? You know what your assignment is? Find a good book. There's a good book and read it. Go over to Starman Saga and check out StarmanSaga.com uh, for the Starman Saga books, six of which are out at the moment. And of course, Opposing Forces and other stuff. You can find all of our books, including the Diane Detzer books, at uh, ReadWriteRelease.com or StarmanSaga.com or at DianeDetzer.com. Lots of good books. Find something good, read it, and then come on right back here because there's more book talk yet to come.